Hey, how's it going YouTube? Now for today's video, I'm gonna be show giving you a tour of my toolbox. A little known fact about me is I am an on-site repair technician. I do automotive repair on-site. Now, I used to work at a shop at Oklahoma Ford and I did have a big snap-on toolbox. Uh, but ever since, it has been retired ever since and I have it in my garage with the Harbor Freight US General tool cart as well. Uh, I do have some tools in it, but most of my main tools that I use on a daily basis are in my truck. Now that being said, let's get on with today's video and give you a tour of the toolbox. Okay, now starting off with the cab of the truck, what I have in here is mostly uh, so my job side radios right there, uh, some earmuffs that I keep when I'm grinding or doing uh, using my air tools uh, my fan right here handy dandy fan living in San Diego California this comes really handy in the summertime uh, let's check out the back right here of the cab I have this little titanium Harbor Freight welder the 125 works really really well when I'm doing for instance let's say some exhaust repair um, or any just little thing I mean it only weighs about 15 pounds and it's real great to have in the truck uh, there is the welding hammock that I use and my Milwaukee M12 rocket light as you can see this works very well when I'm working um, in those dark places dark areas or dark nights A little welding shirt that I have right there and then I have this uh, Zurich scanner right there, my Pro Scanner. So my Zurich Pro Scanner right there, Bluetooth enabled with bi-directional controls. This is really nice to have in the truck as well. All right, um, let's go on with the toolboxes in the back. So I have one, two three three toolboxes mounted in my bed total um, this one back here I have right here it's mainly all my air tools and power tools and screwdrivers also have my electrical stuff right here so I have a bunch of just red and uh, black cable with this like 12 gauge uh, all my fuses are in that little box right there And also butt connectors, need to shrink butt connectors. So therefore that's why it explains the lighters, a couple of OBD1 adapters, more fuses. And then right here I have uh, so my picks, all my picks, electrical tape, uh, magnets, so Maco magnet, and this um, spark plug gapper from Mackle 2's. I really love this one instead of the old, that little circle thing. This one looks very nice. And these are all my screwdrivers right here. It's an assortment of screwdrivers. So I have a bunch of just uh, Cornwell, Milwaukee, Snap-on, and Harbor Freight Doyle. Uh, most of my air tools are right there. Like I said, half inch impact, air hammer, die grinders over there, cutters die grinders, blow gun. Uh, you never know when you're gonna need it, but I also have this uh, Sawzall right here. This has saved me about twice where I couldn't get my actual grinders in there. So I always keep one of those in the truck. Uh, funnel right there, the coolant fill funnel, the spill proof funnel. My charger, Milwaukee grinder, so I have a battery powered um, grinder, and then I have an electrical corded grinder. Uh, my half inch impact, uh, half inch drill, three eighths impact, a little quarter uh, impact, my light, and a three eighths ratchet. I used to have a quarter inch, but I lost it. And here are some just torque screwdrivers. So it goes from T8 all the way to T30, and a couple of mini files right there. All right, onto this other box right here is, let me just put this, is mostly my diagnostic, um, diagnostic specialty tools, toolbox right here. So I have bits, um, drill bits right here. Milwaukee, really nice set. 
Phillips bits. Um, so what I have right here is uh, a caliper tool from Craftsman. Then I think it's this. Oh, fuel pressure gauge. And then my uh, master set of Torx sockets and inverted Torx from Cornwell. And down there is a 3 8. Get that 3 8 uh, torque wrench and then also a quarter inch torque wrench right there. Have this snap on more drill bits right here. Here it is. And then I have the master fuel line disconnector. This Harbor Freight uh, multimeter comes very much in handy. A blue point infrared light. A fuel pump and vacuum gauge sets. Uh, just a cheap battery tester that I carry check out batteries now one of my favorite tools of all is this right here it is my uh, power probe so it's like a glorified test light if you don't have one of these and do a lot of uh, use you think you use your test light a lot I would consider getting one of those um, so right here most of just so a timing light Compression tester, more test lights, spark plug testers, and a couple of suspension tools right there that I have. Oh, and then this bag has a bunch of pullers in it. So um, harmonic balance pulley, pulley steering, uh, power steering. So pulley pullers. Um, yeah, so you can see, just pulley pullers. Here I have a metric. Um, so these are mostly all my wrenches back here. So I try to keep my SAEs on this side and then my metric on this side and also these ratcheting long flex hitter wrenches right there. A set of snap-on metric wrenches right there. So like I said, this is my metric toolbox that I have. Now getting towards the bed of the truck. Now the bed of the truck, what I carry is an air compressor right there Honda air compressor which is 10 gallons works very well for me gas powered obviously um, oil catch pan cooling catch pan um, six ton six ton and three ton jack stands uh, an umbrella an umbrella stunt uh, a three foot ladder oh no a foot ladder a couple of fluids right there cooling brake fluid parts cleaner uh, since I am uh, on site and I do use my jack a lot, our aluminum jack, and that works very well for me because the steel one is much, much heavier. And then I also have this Honda generator right there. Towards the back, I have this little Wilton hitch vise, which does the trick. Some, a couple of magnetic trays. Now I start getting into this box on this side, my passenger side, and this is most of my hand tools. Starting off from the back, what I have right here is uh, most of my hand tools, well, pretty much all my hand tools are in this uh, toolbox right here. Starting off with hammers, so dead blow, plastic dead blows, 27 ounce, 45 ounce, mini sludge hammer, ball pin hammer, 24 ounce, brake caliper tool, another magnetic tray with a couple of socket bits. Um, this nice Cornwell metric wrench set. I really love this um, on and off switch with the uh, flank drive that they call. Uh, my half inch extensions are right here in the back. So two inch and a four inch and I don't know, that's like 10 inch or something. Oil filter tool right here, claw. My three eighths and uh, quarter inch 
extensions are right there. Now going towards the middle, so all of my pry bars are right here. So I have this nice Macro pry bar set. Uh, starting off with this little mini one. And then my longest one that I have is this snap-on, uh, was it 36, so three feet? Yeah, three feet. And then uh, starting off with my sockets. So I have this magnetic one up here, which is a semi-deep snap-on uh, metric from 10 all the way to 18. Yeah, skip a few sizes. Um, I have this uh, rounded off bolt um, socket set from Blue Point. It's worked very nice when I needed it. Get me out of a couple of strip bolts. Um, this metric set over here of 12 point. Now I do have mostly metric since all the vehicles nowadays are metric, but I do have a couple of AAC sockets, S SAE, I'm sorry. Starting off with this uh, Matco SAE. Goes from 5 16ths all the way to, what is this? Three quarters, like a 19. Um, so right here are some Allen wrenches. I mean, I'm at Allen's. So from four all the way to size 10. Um, the square bit, square, triple square from Blue Point. This one you use in a lot of German cars, especially VW like to use these a lot. Um, you don't know that you need this SID until you actually start working on German cars. So get you a set of these from 3H Shallow, it works very nice. Now getting up over here, it's my quarter inch sockets. These are all these right here, chrome, and these are all A's. SAE, I'm sorry, <laughs> and these are all Blue Point from Cornwell. And these bottom ones right here is all metric, and these are all from Matco, the ADV. So these are from what is this? Four millimeters goes all the way to 15 millimeter. And then over here, now I do carry mostly. I don't carry a lot of chrome sockets. It's mostly I, you can. I think you can just use the um, um, the impact ones as chrome sockets as well. It's only when you need them in the tight areas, but that's rare. And so my half inch back here, all these right here are half inch. So this snap on uh, shallow set goes from 10 all the way to 24 millimeter, and then the uh, deep I only have it from 15 all the way to 24. Um, then my 3 8 deep, I have two sets. So I have my chrome one that's up here from Snap-on. Let's see, Snap-on. So this one goes from 8 to 19. And then I have this Cornwell one that goes from 7 millimeters all the way up to 19 millimeter. And that's really nice right there. Uh, what else? Let's see, what else do I have? Right here are my swivels. So I have it in the 3.8. Um, and I only have it in um, a shallow because I do have a universal in case I need, let's say, a semi-deep or a actual uh, deep. So these are Matco uh, 10 to 19 and 3 8. Then I have the quarter inch set as well. And it goes from 5 millimeter all the way up to, I believe it's 15. Yep, 15. Then the 3 8 short and 7 all the way to 19. Matco as well. So yep, these are all my hand tools. Um, it's pretty much all I need. On this side over here, you're looking at my ratchets. So, a lot of 3 8 ratchets, um, swivel head. I got this one from Maxo, straight head, 11 inches. In my opinion, I really love, and I think Matco does the best ratchets. So I love how they have a slim head, that teardrop design, and the 88 tooth. Um, and without the comfort grip, I think the comfort grip just gets in the way, especially for the tight, tight places. So I just get this straight one right here. I really love this one. Um, comment down below and which one is your uh, favorite manufacturer of ratchets. Mine is Matco. Um, but I love this snap-on shorty right here. 3 8 as well with the swivel head. Um, what is this, like 6 inches? really nice type places and when you need it the 3 8 and this uh, snap on long one right here i believe is like 17 inches that's also very handy to have a couple of quarter inch swivel head i have this icon 
Um, I'm not too much of a fan of the Icon tools, but this one is probably my favorite. I, I would say the quarter inch stuff and a lot of the other stuff, it's okay. But most of the quarter inch stuff, I mean, who really cares? <laughs> it's not like you're putting them through a lot of torque or anything. So the quarter inch stuff, I really like. Like I said, once again, Matco's my favorite maker of uh, ratchets. So I have this other long one right here. Um, straight quarter inch. Really love that one. Now I have a half, couple of half inches ones, but I left those at the garage in my house. Um, I have the... Um, What's it? 27 inch Matco 882 swivel head and then a snap on one straight head. All right, that's enough for that box. Now let's get on to my final box in the truck. And this one is mostly just uh, a lot of miscellaneous stuff and then a lot of, uh, let's say, of my uh, greases, brake grease, um, brake fluid. Um, I got glue right here couple of brake cleaners all my pliers are in this in this uh, tool bag right here now again um, I have a favorite maker of uh, pliers and my favorite would have to be snap-on and snap-on in my opinion makes the best slip joint pliers once again coming down below and tell me which one is your favorite mine would have to be these snap-on ones um, and of course the Nipix Nipix makes these the groove joint pliers. Um, these are my favorite, favorite, favorite of all time. Uh, a couple of these picks um, from Cornwell. Really love these. These are the anti damage ones. Picks. Got those long ones and then these shorty ones. Right here. A couple of punches right here in this little hole. Like I said, a bunch of assortment of pliers that I have in there, all Matco, Snap-on, Cornwell, Klein. Um, a lot of these Dino nose, um, also these pinch-off hose pliers from Gear Ranch. A lot of uh, channel lock pliers as well. All these right here, channel locks, needle nose, and then these ones. If you don't have these and you do automotive work, I don't know why you don't have these. Look at this head right here. Check that out. These are from Channel Lock. Let um, see if I get you a part number. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't. But <laughs> these are from Channel Lock, and these are one of my favorite pliers as well. Channel Lock makes some really good pliers. Um, over there, I have a thread restorer kit from Snap On right there. Underneath that is my Master Ball Joint Press Remover Kit, um, a fender cover from O'Reilly's. Obviously, you gotta have gun and my favorite of all the torch you gotta have a torch a uh, couple of hose clamps right there right here is my assortment of bolt nuts and bolts gloves just in case you need them um, right here cotter pins o-rings a couple of other vacuum connectors down there um silicone anti c can't go wrong having anti seize and then dielectrical grease right here these are from my days when I used to work at Ford dielectrical grease use this on everything I mean everything brake caliper grease and dielectrical grease you always have to have uh, zip ties as well and then this one up here my safety glasses, a couple of tubing, and just a assortment of tools. I got so right here would be um, so a flux core wire, a couple of headlamps, my gloves, ground clamp, tape, and these pliers. I don't know what they're doing up here, but yep, these pliers as well. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all my tools that I carry in the truck. Oh yeah, and these are my big sockets right here. These are pretty much my axle sockets. So from like. 30. This one's really good for the, I believe, Toyota has the 12.30 millimeter. I don't remember quite well. That one's really good. I have a 34 millimeter, 32, 36, 36. Oh, another great, great tool to have is this flip socket right here. It's for the lug nuts, but this one is for strip lug nuts. So before I had to drill them or torch them out, I tried this. Uh, eight times out of ten this has worked wonderful 
so it has 21 or 13 16 and I'm sorry three um, 21 13 16 yeah or three quarter and 19 so if you don't have this you might want to consider this if you do an automotive as well I get a lot of customers complaining or calling me about how either AAA or themselves just strip their lug nuts that right there and right here a couple of uh, filter sockets um, lug nut keys that I carry with me uh, these are my universal swivels and adapters so 3 8 universal half inch universal and I believe I also have a quarter inch yep quarter inch I really love this quarter inch from Matco snap-on adapter half inch 3 8 uh, oil sending unit socket O2 socket and these are the chrome ones over here snap on um, spark plug swivel right here magnetic of course another O2 sensor and all these are pretty much so O2 sensor as well uh, half inch no three it's a half inch adapter and more spark plug sockets down there and in my passenger side just this tool bag and a couple of just rags oil that I carry with me so yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys very much for watching please like subscribe and comment down below which is your favorite tool and from which one manufacturer and why thank you guys very much for watching until next time later